that was it if you guys didn't know i hated the modern for two beta it frustrated me so much that i had to cancel my pre-order but we're gonna see because they came out with a infinity war community launch update with some changes for the game let's see let's see if these changes are worth me buying the game again or do i still have to wait and see how it goes but guys enough of that take a look at this blog post all right so here's a blog post let's get right into it guys so first off we have enemy visibility we have added diamond icons above the heads of enemies that should make it easier for players to clearly identify opponents in the game so i guess that's good because it was hard to tell who was friendly and enemy at times right so I, I guess it's 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 cool they have some type of indicator at the very least additionally we continue to tweak lighting and contrast for improved enemy visibility that was a big deal to me especially when an enemy player is inside you're outside yo it was really hard to see them it was really hard next we have audio we've shortened the overall range of footsteps audio which will allow enemy players to get closer to targets before they're able to detect footsteps we'll also continue to tweak teammate footstep audio which will now be quieter following feedback from the beta so this is nice because again i hate the footstep audio like you have elephant shoes on everyone is loud for no reason so i'm kind of curious to see how they you know change the footstep audio for actual release they also said the in-world activation sound effect volume range for dead silence field upgrade has been drastically decreased i don't even know why there's a noise to begin with i think they should just get rid of it period but i mean it is what it is right all right third person following feedback from the beta aiming down sites will now stay in third person pov for low zoom optics only high zoom optics beginning with acog and higher and special optics such as hybrids and thermals will revert to first person pov we believe this will enhance the third person experience while keeping the gameplay balanced the feedback on this mod is very positive blah blah okay so i like this it always threw me off that you were in third person going to first person so i'm glad that they're making it where you still aim down over the shoulder instead of actually going to that first person view so i like this i think this is really cool that they're doing so i'm curious to see how, um how it actually plays uh in the game weapons we have continued to go weapons across the game following both feedback from beta players and game data players can expect more specific swap opportunity as we continue to support post-launch well um there was a lot of weapons to begin with so it's kind of like it was kind of hard to tell how all the weapons were you know with the, with the only with the stuff they only gave us so i don't know ui we have been working hard numerous updates to our ui that makes accessing customizing your loadout more seamless we made improvements to navigation menus and will continue to optimize our ux yeah the ui was garbage i'm glad they're changing it hopefully it's just more simple and streamlined like just you, you don't got to do too much you know you've been doing this for how long you don't got to change much of it movement slide ledge hang and dive have been further refined we've also addressed some movement exploits following beta but what does that mean you say refined but like how did you improve it like is it faster smoother like i would like to know more specifics refine is kind of a broad term in my opinion it sounds like they improved it but in what way i would like to know more matchmaking we have implemented some changes that aim to reduce lobby disbandment between matches we look forward to testing this at a large scale and getting feedback okay so it says reduce lobby disbandment so it's not really saying that yeah we're keeping the lobbies but maybe it sounds like maybe after like a few games you can stay but then it's gonna disband i don't know it says reduce w what does that mean like how is that gonna work um we will continue to provide updates i mean that's pretty much it guys uh that's all the changes they did for the launch um i would like to see more i mean they have some good stuff right like enemy visibility audio cool what they did with the third person i mean the ui did need some fixes the movement i would like to know more specifics about it but it, it is changes right in the right direction so i don't know i don't know if this will really change my mind but at least it's something um and we'll just have to see when the game actually releases right so still on the fence to rebuy to not buy i i think i might just wait we'll see though but guys i hope you guys uh enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below what you guys think like subscribe uh turn on youtube notifications for all the latest and greatest updates i appreciate you guys I'll catch you guys later. All right, shoots.